So today's panel is, as you know, about SEO, search engine optimization. Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear myself fine. <laughs> um, and so I'd like to start off by allowing each one of our panelists to ask one question for the other three panelists to also answer. So that you can get sort of an overview on what they think is important for SEO today first, and then we'll open up the questions to the audience. So I guess the first question will be uh, from you, Gary. What, what, what question would you like to ask? Uh, what, what, is, what would be your most effective uh, link building strategy? All things considered. Uh, 32. <laughs> <laughs> Most important. Well, 20, most important. 27 is quite good as well, but 32 is really awesome. That's, yeah. the, that's the big list of things we have to go through. Uh, LinkBay, it seems to be really, really well at the moment. Um, speaking at conferences like this is really, really cool as well because you get a lot of people that will blog about it, whether you're good or you're crap, it makes no difference, they'll still blog about it. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, LinkBay seems to be a massive one at the moment. Then wait till it goes quiet and then 301 it. Yeah. <laughs> is everyone in the audience bait. familiar with what link bait is? Link bait. Does everyone know what that is? If you don't, it's basically like uh, Bob last night was running a competition to see how many hugs he could get and he beat Shannon Poole. If we had videotapes of that and we put them on the internet and we promoted them hard enough, that would be link bait because Bob would get links because he won. Yeah, essentially link bait is, you know, he's sort of creative. All, you know, it could be video, it could be widget, it could be a quiz, it could be whatever creative that you would use to publish on other people's sites in the hopes that you would garner a lot of inbound links from it. Which was the casino that did the midget thing going down the hill? Um, yeah, so that, that's link bait, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's link bait straight out of the bat because I can't think of how many, but what was it? Golden that did the poker face competition, you had to make him smile or something. That was another one I remember out there. That's cons. That one. Yeah. So again, it's it's building content that will just people will link to it naturally. People that aren't in the industry, just normal human beings. Um, and then when they do that, you leave it go quiet. And no one's looking. You just feel want it into your real time. How about you, Jason? What do you think is the most important linking strategy right now? Well, I think, I think the most important linking strategy right now is one that's scalable um, to deliver the results for you to get the pinnacle of where you want to be. And I haven't found anything better that delivers the scalability than getting your wallet open. Okay. Um, checkbook, wallets, cash. You know, cash still works. It's going out there and buying them. Link banks is most definitely part of the overall strategy to bring in the links, bring the average cost of links down to a more manageable level, but if you're looking at an ability to scale in a manageable way towards the heights that you aspire for your rankings, then there isn't as anything as simple as opening the checkbook. So yeah, let's, you have to that, say that there's a, there's a risk involved in that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, given yeah, that yeah. Google has said very clearly that they don't want you to buy links, are there any tips that you want to give the audience as to... Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll will give, I will give some tips to that. Is I, I firmly believe that we, everyone in here, is in the gaming space. I'm going to quote, Dave was there, I, uh, uh, Tim May, if I remember yep. rightly, a number of years ago, four or five years ago, Dave? Yep. Don't take a, Tim Mayer is a, a Yahoo employee, looks after the search division of Yahoo. His quote, don't take a sword to a gunfight. We are in a gunfight industry. Gaming, casino, poker, bingo, all of those sorts of areas are not just guns, but big bloody bazookas. They're on people's shoulders. When we're talking about those search rankings, everybody wants them. And when it is the norm out there, and believe it or not, whether you admit it or not, it is normal. There are everyone who is ranking at the moment, pretty much anywhere around the world, is spending money on buying links. Is it against Google's terms of service? Or, or webmaster guidelines rather, not their terms of service, yes. But it is your site and you can do what you want. I will say that there are links and there are links, and some are better purchases than others. But if you want a scalable manner, I go back and will say that it is, that at this moment in time, the single most scalable way for you to acquire links and therefore deliver rankings for your business in the gambling area. What should you be paying for those links? 
who's, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> There's a random no. voice came from nowhere. And no, no, no one said it, Jason, it's in your head. <laughs> <laughs> won't be a first time, it won't be the last. Um, not all links are created equal, it also depends, a combination of so many different things. Um, how much should you pay for the links? It depends where you are in the equation, I guess, whether you're selling or buying. Um, also depends how much that specific link is going to deliver to your uh, ranking campaign, shall we say, at that point. One link may be enough to tip you over the edge, but if you haven't got the critical mass, that on its own may not do it. So it may be more valuable to you at that point in time. There is a pseudoscience to the valuation of links. It is not an exact science. It's partly negotiation. And it's why I would suggest that uh, if you aren't experienced in that area, that you work with someone that is. Not because you can't grab them by the links, but to make sure that you pay a reasonable price rather than spending a reasonable price to the factor of 10. Yeah, I mean, I've seen links sell for 15 grand. Um, <coughs> you should have a nice monthly budget in the space if you, you know, turn on buying links to rank well for poker. It's, I think it's fair to say that you take that budget that you just said, and like any marketing campaign, you know how much money you can afford and then you tailor your uh, target rankings around the budget, not go for the number one for, I want to be number one for poker all around the world including google.com and I've got a budget of 20 bucks. It's possible you could do it, but it's highly unlikely. Uh, you know. <laughs> and Judith, how do you recommend uh, for your clients? Uh, uh, I, I agree with both of them. Obviously, I'm not getting close enough to the long, hard thing in front of me. Um, I have to agree I'll with them. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree with both of my panelists, but I'm also a bit of a, a traditional marketing person, and one of the best ways that I do it is by sucking up to journalists. So your traditional PR routes to market. Um, sucking up to journalists works really well. Give them presents. Um, maybe not, you know, the cold hard cash, but stuff works really well. Take them out for a nice dinner. Coffee doesn't get you links. Usually it has to be an extremely nice lunch or a very nice dinner. And, um, and stuff. They love stuff for some reason. I come from publishing, so I can be cynical like this because I've seen it in action. That's a, you know, that's a great point. I mean, one thing that I didn't hear mention here that, uh, that I used to use a lot when I was still with uh, Everest Poker, who I think a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, is create is is pulling your own data to produce uh, white papers and reports to publish, because after all, I mean most of the operators in the room and the affiliates also have access to data that a lot of people would be interested in based on markets and saturation and growth of, of things like poker and casino games. I think you know and sports. Sports data is tremendous, right? I mean you have so much content there. Uh, at Betfair, I know that they spend a lot of time and money on. You know, calling the data from the way people bet on sports to uh, to produce in the media, and sometimes it helps you know, bust up a Russian you know tennis fixing ring, and sometimes they use it to to show that they have really great servers. So data is another great way that you can publish and produce uh, reports to get links. I mean, the other thing is as well is that anyone that's actually mentioning your product uh, and they're not linking to you. Email them or ring them up, and that's why we find that there's quite a high percentage of them that actually just put the link in there because they, they'd rather do that than just. It's very true. It's, it's, very, it's, very, it's, very, fair. Yeah. it's very fair to say that uh, it costs you nothing to ask, and uh, it might just well say yes. Might sort of piss off, but uh, you move on to the next one.